Okay, so today we are working on some interior wall sections. And as you can see here, I'm working on a walking shot where the doctor and Betsy would be walking down the corridor talking. And during the seasons, season 14, where we're basing a lot of this around, like you can see the areas here at the top where there's no ceiling, um, where we're basing a lot of this around, they had these large, thick, bigger roundels in the hallways. Uh, that had a deep cavity and I could see that a lot from the early seasons where Sarah and he first found the secondary control room. So that's kind of what I'm basing it off of. And then there are other sections that are smaller so I can select areas like this guy here and I can change his setting to make it not as high and the original setting I figured out was two to make it really thin like this so that when they get into other areas of the TARDIS where it's just like the white roundels and the white walls and there's no real backlighting sort of the generic areas I guess where the BBC needed to create a hallway quickly but didn't have the money to do all the sort of lighting and fancy stuff it was just sort of a generic white hallway which we'll have some of those later on um, I can do that as well so if we take a look at a different section this whole area was designed to take place after they have locked the control room door. Now we haven't built the control room door for the doctor to use his sonic yet. But once we have, they'll be sort of sitting on the ground just exhausted from having to to sort of force their way through this water and lock the doorway to try to contain the water. And then there's this panning shot that we've created with them getting up and walking away and down the corridor and the doctor will walk off down the corridor this way. And of course Betsy will follow after him because she has no idea what's going on. So we've created this sort of corridor section here to kind of work for that. And what I like about it is it creates this sort of maze-like look that the TARDIS has in some of the later seasons as well as some of the Baker seasons. One of my favorite Baker seasons is when he's running through the TARDIS corridor, but they're using back lots and alleyways and different places like that with brick walls. And he's just running through the same sections over and over again, but he knows exactly where he's going, even though everybody says, we've already been here before. Uh, it's just really amusing to me. Um, a very creative way of using your budget, essentially. Kind of reminds me of the old Star Trek where everybody was just painted different colors uh, rather than doing a lot of prosthetics because prosthetics were very expensive. Um, so another one that I want to show you another corridor shot that we've got going on is Later on, and I won't explain why right now, but later on they run into the smaller roundels that are that are the yellow, the smaller ones that are in sort of like the later seasons of Doctor Who, you know, uh, from say Davidson on where things start changing. They run into the smaller ones. And I can't explain why without giving anything away. But essentially, um, we get this sort of questioning where Betsy's like, I don't understand. What are all these little round things for? And I'm not sure how this is lit. Let's see. Well, we got tools, light blister, because I'm not quite done with these guys yet. So this may not have the best look to it. It's just got one little simple light in there for now. We'll see what it looks like. But um, usually all this is lit with some advanced mental ray lighting, and it looks really pretty and very soft. Where the other corridors lit that way, this one is not. And I'll, I'll show you an example of the difference in a minute. But you know, Betsy's like, why are there all these different round things? Yeah, this just has a generic light in it for now, so it doesn't look really very good. But And then he explains the differences between the round things. And what I like about it is because nowhere in Doctor Who have I ever seen anyone talk about what the round things are. And... Even in the 50th anniversary special, I, one of my favorite bits is where they're inside of uh, the War Doctor's TARDIS. And Matt Smith is like, oh, look, the round things. And and Tennant's like, oh, love the round things. Like, what are the round things? No idea. That's one of my favorite bits uh, from that. I just think it's hilarious because no one ever really explained it. So I thought, well, why don't I explain at least why there's different colors? And... Um, I've had discussions with a friend of mine, uh, David, who works on this with me, and his explanation for why they were different colors is because they originally were made from fiberglass. And the fiberglass, um, 
ages over time, and as it ages, it becomes yellow. It sort of yellowizes, you know, as any sort of plastic kind of does. And see, we're still working on the lighting on this one, too. There's advanced lighting in it, more advanced lighting than there was in the other one. But you can see that the scenes are a little bit more complete, and the lighting is a little bit more even. It's got a warmer tone to it. I gave the walls sort of a grayish, whitish color. But I did make it a darker tone versus the way uh, it tends to be in this. Like the control room is really bright and white, and I didn't want that look for the rest of the TARDIS. I wanted something a little bit different, you know, because as they go through the different corridors through the seasons of the TARDIS, it changes so much. So I thought, well, for our TARDIS, I'm going to have I'm going to pick these big blue roundels um, for the main Tom Baker versions, and then. Um, I'm going to make them sort of slightly off gray. I think that we'll, we'll green screen better. And see, as you notice, as it starts to render out, some of these darker shadows begin to soften, uh, and they blend out a little bit nicer, which is what the advanced lighting does compared to what like a regular light does. So I really like uh, the look that I'm getting out of some of this. And I'll let this finish rendering so you can see what a final shot will look like, because I think all I've posted up so far is just a real simple you know screen grab while I was building this the other night and I still have a little bit of work left to do to this there's a few more things I want to put in but for the most part this is like a good wall section that's complete and I think it will look really nice especially in comparison to them being in the TARDIS so much during episode 2 and 3 that it's really necessary for them to have an environment that looks that looks good um, if you guys have any comments or you're curious about anything or you have any reference material that you might have that I don't have that you might think be able to help us when we're designing the interior of the TARDIS and we've done a lot of work already but we're always open to suggestions on things you know leave in the comments or send us a message on Facebook and let us know what you guys have we'd love to see it because we would love to make it more accurate so you can see as the lighting starts to soften out we really get a much more balanced uh, soft lighting scheme which is what we really wanted to begin with some nice reflections in the floor maybe too much reflections in the floor it needs to calm down a bit I think it's a little distracting it makes it almost makes it look like the wall goes all the way down <laughs> but uh, you can see the darker areas tend to smooth out once the uh, rendering actually takes place but anyway I hope you enjoyed this sort of behind the scenes look uh, this is what we're working on now for episode two, which we're going to always release an episode on the fourth of the month. Now, it may not be every month, depending on how complicated the episode is. It might be every two months. Um, but we're always going to try to release it on the fourth. That way it's sort of the fourth on the fourth. And that'll be sort of our gimmick, I think. And that way you can always know that at some point on the fourth of the month, that it might be 11.59 on the fourth of that month, but we'll release it on the fourth. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, and please share this with everyone. We really want the material to get out there. So, again, if you have any uh, good solid reference that you want us to use or things in the TARDIS that maybe would be great to have or to see, send us a link. I can't guarantee we'll put it in there, but we'll certainly give it a look at. Thank you.